Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be talking about how you can try and help save CentOS by signing a petition here on change.org. This petition has just been brought up to my attention, and it is to save the CentOS stable version. As we can see, this has been set up by Spry servers here, and will hopefully get sent to the CentOS governing board. If we go down towards the bottom of this petition, we can see there's an initial response here from one of the community managers of CentOS who stated the following, I appreciate your position and will be presenting this petition to management in our update meeting. Please understand that I'm not in a position to reconsider anything, but only to present the objections to the management. I figured I'd try and help get the word out to some of the people of the Linux community who wanted to help out and support this petition. And of course, if you're interested in checking something like this out, I'll be leaving a link in the description below for the petition. So make sure to check that out. So a recent decision that was made by CentOS, the governing board here, is to stop support of their stable branch, most known for being a free and open source version of the stable RHEL branch from Red Hat. As this Petition states here, CentOS runs almost 19% of web servers globally. Mainly, these are small businesses who can't actually purchase a enterprise Linux version like REHL supplies. And you can imagine that this would be quite a blow to those users. And of course, there are the regular users who like setting up their own servers. But the idea here, if you aren't aware, is to focus on their rolling release branch called Stream and to deprecate their current stable branch. Now there are talks of some members already from the community in trying to create a new stable branch based off RHEL called Rocky Linux. We'll see if that comes to fruition, but the current CentOS 8 would be deprecated by the end of 2021 and CentOS 7 would go through its current support term, which I believe is to 2024. Either way, many people are upset about this development and would like to keep CentOS around since it does offer a unique and necessary Linux build in the Linux space for servers. Like mentioned before, small businesses who can't really afford an enterprise solution and just normal everyday users. So if we read through this petition a little bit, it says, that in 2014, CentOS was acquired by Red Hat and that Red Hat is a large for-profit organization. As mentioned before, CentOS is free, open source, and a Linux distribution based off the stable branch for RHEL. Red Hat and CentOS has assured the public the distribution would ma maintain a place in the community. They didn't keep their word. They've made an announcement that next year, CentOS 8 and the future of CentOS versions will be migrated to CentOS Stream. So that's the testing branch for RHEL. And as mentioned, there's already a Linux distribution that does the same thing called Fedora. And the petition mentions how useful the stable, free, and enterprise-ready operating system, which is CentOS, stable, is cherished by millions over the last 16 years. Mainly that this will force people to migrate to an expensive and for-profit operating system, which is RHEL, and they are asking the governing board to continue the regular development of CentOS as a stable branch downstream RHEL. So the petition has gained good traction already. It has almost 11,000 people signing the petition and it's being shared across many platforms now to try and get the word out. If you are interested in trying to save CentOS, the stable branch, make sure to check out this petition. Again, I'll put a link in the description below and maybe, just maybe, if enough people sign it and show support for keeping the stable version of CentOS, the board might decide on something else. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.